I now pronounce you man and wife. And now you may kiss the bride. No, 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 Nada. You know when it comes to jokes, I am the queen of pranks, okay? <laughs> wow, that's good. That's good. Mmm. You got a promotion. Wow, you pop champagne when you get here. <laughs> yeah, I promise I won't tell mom and dad. Trust me. You know I wouldn't buy that. What is it you're trying to hide? Oh, mommy. Don't do this to me. You always get everything out of me. Yeah. All right, all right. It's about Nadia. Nadia? Mm-hmm. She got a promotion at work. I hope this is not one of your forging jokes to try my moods this evening. <laughs> I swear, this is real. That's what she just told you right now. Why didn't she call to inform me or your daddy? I don't know. She probably will. But please be silent about this for now. Okay? But why keep us in suspense, if I may ask? I promise, Mom, this is not one of my usual jokes. I'm telling you the truth. But that better not be. Uh, I don't know. Mommy, please do not tell Daddy anything about this. Else, she'll kill me, okay? So, don't open your mouth. Sip it. Okay. If you say so. I'll be there. Alright. I'll call my maid too. Yeah, I mean. I was just calling you. What's up? Really? <laughs>
I didn't study the desk already. <laughs> Oh, What's the rush? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, love, but I need to watch my sister now. Ah, just relax and don't rush, my dear. I know, I'm huh? so tired of walking and just. Alright. Just in pictures. Alright, right. let's see. Press the button. Dear Dad. Okay. Dear Mom. Nadia! Yeah. Dear. Mm. Lovely so Chelsea. Big. I... I was actually going to read this because it took me hours to write it for all of you. Somehow I just realized that I was talking to my family and I needed to be more personal, to be more not white and black so I'm just gonna throw this away I'm just gonna say dad mom Chelsea this this award it's for all of you as well as me I just want to thank everybody every one of you for being there for me that if it wasn't for the effort that you and mom put into my my life I probably wouldn't be where I am today I say a big thank you and of course I cannot forget you Chelsea and me, uh... thank you to you too Thank all of you for being such a wonderful family, for being there for me. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna cry. Um, I'm not gonna cry, okay? Because this is supposed to be like one of the happiest days of my life and your life too, I know, but <laughs> I miss all of you so much. I miss you so, so much. And Dad, I regret the fact that I'm not there when you grow your grey hairs. And yet, Mom, I heard you look so gorgeous. Chelsea, Chelsea, everybody talks about you like you're the pride of Africa. I love you all. I love you all from the depth of my heart. I love you too, man. And mommy, I, I know I'm I know I'm a big girl, but I still miss home. I still I miss your cuddles. I miss I miss holding you. I promise I was not gonna cry. Oh okay. Whatever. I just, I love all of you. I love you, mommy. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you so much. I love you all. We love you too, Nadia. So much. such an expensive phone. <laughs> well, it's a phone that I, 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 I picked up from the grand. I bumped into one girl this afternoon and she dropped it. Wow. Do you know her? Never come across her before. Never. Oh, brother. Mm -hmm. God don't bless you with that. What type of 
blessing are you talking about? Is it the blessing that puts smiles on my face and sorrow on someone's? <laughs> so, will you go on national station to announce the recovery of a missing phone? Jacob, be smart. Why don't you believe in God anymore? Why you have to give me a sermon now? See, some opportunities come only once in a lifetime. So when it comes, see. Jay, June 10.30 or one of those sage that I shall not steal. My brother, shine your eye. How often do you see phones just like that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Jay, you know you go to church more than me. Oh. Jay, you're right, but... No. No, 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 no. If he hadn't left me in such a haste that day, this wouldn't have happened. My dad is so pissed off with the loss of his phone. Whose dad would be happy with his child for doing anything like that? Didn't you say it contained his important contact? Chelsea, you should be thanking your God and your stars that he's still alive. Trust me, if it was my dad, you would have been on your way to my funeral by now. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm just so confused. Are you thinking of getting that phone back? Forget it's gone. It's gone forever. Thanks for making me feel better, Irene. You know I won't lie to you for anything. This is the truth. You're not going to get it back. If this person is somewhere thanking his God for giving him a new phone and you're here disturbing yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being harsh on you, but it's true. Oh, you're sorry. After accusing me and making me feel bad. Oh, please. Smile. Good afternoon, who is the search? I am um, um, Jacob. Um, I'm looking for uh, your, your boss doctor. Ah, uh, okay. Now, small Madam Chelsea, you define, eh? Tell me, every day, everybody now tells you, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Which day some of you could come from Manchester? Eh? Okay. Make you come, in, make you come inside, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's here, man? What's your name? That your name again. Uh, Sule? Uh. So, yes, sir. What does that man want? He didn't find Jesse. Chelsea? Yes, sir. Young man, come closer. Is Chelsea aware of your visit? Uh, no, sir. Um, she she bumped into me in an ice cream joint, and her phone fell. So I decided to bring it myself to you. No, as in return it. Oh. Oh. How thoughtful of you. Oh, great! A young man? Oh! You won't understand how long I've been searching for this phone. Thank you so much. I was even scared someone might find it and uh, do something mischievous with the contacts. I did not use it for anything of sorts, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, Chelsea? You are here, this way. Oh, the phone. This young man said uh, you bumped into him in an ice cream shop and uh, you dropped your phone. So he returned it. That's where I left it. Yes. Oh my God, I have been searching everywhere for this phone. <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen. Wow. Oh, what 
What's your name? I'm Chelsea Oman. You are? Jacob Crane. Jacob Crane. Oh, wow, um, have you met my old man? Mr. Albert Owen. So honesty exists in this country. That's good. Oh, my dear, very, very interesting. Uh, Chelsea, do me a favor. Go into my bedroom and bring me my wallet. Uh, this young man needs to be here rewarded handsomely. Though I quite appreciate your gestures, I'm okay. Oh, come on, young man. Don't play the fool. You need to be rewarded handsomely for your honesty. And this reward might probably push your life upward. Hmm? Come on, uh, Chelsea. Run along, run along. Jacob, right? I'll see you in a second. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, you said you are Jacob. Jacob what? Jacob Gray, sir. Gray. This is where you live. Hey, where we're managing. To what do I owe this August visit? Oh yeah. I brought you this to express my appreciation for the other day. Oh. I <laughs> Alright. But I think you shouldn't have bothered yourself, you know. Oh, I see, um. I guess I'll be leaving then, since I'm not needed. No, 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 Chelsea, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. On the contrary, I think I feel boom for having a visitor like you in my house. <sighs> okay, all right. Do I take this time? Guess she's a mother. Oh, that's James' mama. She owns this house, you know. Okay. Yeah, I've been living with them for quite a while now. James is a very good friend of mine. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah let me tell you a short story about myself. Kind of like the synopsis of my life. <laughs> I've never known my mom. I mean my real mom and papa ever since I was born. Um, I've been living with my foster parents that adopted me from the children's home. My so-called mama dropped me at. So, um, how did you get the accent? My stepmom, as my foster mom, she hails from America, as in she's a black American, and uh, my foster pop, he's been living there for like 35 years, so I guess that's where they met and got married. I lived with them for over close to 20 years, so our birth, you know, when we were young, we used to travel around, get to receive other family members that are not my, actually my family, but they're not thought they were. They know enough about myself. Um, can I offer you something? Let me tell you what I have and what I don't have. I don't have soft drinks, I don't have beverages, I don't have liquor. Neither do I have super hard liquor. But I can offer you a cup of water. Give um, me whatever you have. Okay, so I get you a cup of water. <laughs> right. Thank you. I can never leave without you. I can never do without you, boy. Every time, no need, I get cold to my 
feel And I wonder why, baby, I just think of you and me You're the yeah. one that I want, you're the one that I need I can get you off my mind, I think about you all the time You know yeah. I love you, I need you, I, for you. I feel you and I want you to know that I really, really love Give me some you of that. Good, 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 good love, Oh, baby, Come on, yeah give me that. What are they going to do if they bang into us right now? Haven't I told you that they're not at home and won't be back until evening? So tell me, how long do you want us to keep this relationship a secret? <laughs> as long as I keep myself in that hole and keep riding low, <laughs> it has to be a secret. Don't speak like that. You are a hard-working accounts clerk and with your CV, you can get a good job anywhere. Trust me. <laughs> Until then, nothing can happen, right? I disagree with you. Something could be done to upgrade your status in life. Okay, let me tell you what could be done. If Jesus Christ changes his mind on me right now and um, plans to help me, he says, my son, you're tired and I need to change your situation, and he comes in to help me, yeah, then there could be a change. But if not, I don't know what can happen. Don't worry, I'll think about something. Mm -hmm. Just wonder what it is. If I live in a place like this, I don't think I'll go out, you know. I will not. Trust me, it gets boring in here. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. it gives me the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice crib, you know. It's so fair. What happened to those books I gave you? Why? Don't anyway, worry, I just wanted to be sure you stayed in them. <laughs> there is something I want to ask you. What? Is your dad aware of your relationship with Jacob? At the moment, no. Well, I suggest you pause this relationship for a while and then continue after your final exams. Chelsea is for your own good. After all, what is wrong with paying more attention to your studies? I'll think about it, okay? I hope you do. Let's go. Come, 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 come. Prophetess Irene, truly, truly, I've heard everything you said, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab one pamphlet from upstairs. I have to return somebody's books. Okay. All right, I'll be back. All right. Get me some of the food, yeah? What kept you away for so long? I was stuck in traffic. Traffic? Such an unintelligent and flimsy excuse. But don't butt him. Didn't I tell you to allow the driver pick you and you refused? So you derive joy giving excuses. Indeed, you have really changed. But the gravity of failure and shame that will befall you will not even allow the worst savior come to your aid. 
this should be your last time. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm really sorry, Mom. I promise you won't repeat yourself again. in this filthy, stinking goddess he calls a home? I'm, 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 I'm Shut up! Your voice is the last thing I want to hear. Chelsea, how could you? How could you? What could you possibly be looking for in these goddess? Dad! Keep your mouth shut! I'm talking! I suspected this thing as a gold digger. And lo and behold, I have caught you red-handed, trying to use my daughter as an instrument to siphon my wealth. But you have failed. Mr. Owen, I'm not trying to siphon your money. I'm in love with your daughter. I'm in love with Chelsea. In love with a young girl who is preparing for her examinations. Look at you, loving my daughter. You need a psychiatrist. And let me warn you, this is your last time I want to see you She loves him they love her. Unconditionally. unconditionally Willing to give her all No matter the price But the situation keeps on the rising Everybody hates him Only God can help him Everybody hates him, only God can help him He's been treated like a pauper I've been treated bad As he is a hustler I'm a real hustler, baby But he has found new love Which is unconditional So But still has issues so many with issues. a family He has no one to talk to no him about you. No, defender. no defender He is just a hustler, a hustler. Searching for survival I'm looking for you, baby. Praying to find the answer but she loves him, she loves him. Unconditionally. unconditionally Willing to give her all, no matter the price But 
the situation keeps on the horizon Everybody hates him Only God can help him Everybody hates him Only God can help him Oh yeah He has toiled and tried to make things better make things happen, baby But all his sufferings suffering. were not appreciated appreciate He has hopes and dreams, dreams That one day it will be better As he loves his girl love you, And she the loves truth. him That's too the truth. She loves the him the too truth. I'm an orphan, some say they were born with silver spoon But I say I was born though, I had no mommy My past was way gone, before word break ever ever came out He did not work for the full version, he was a man full of himself After the rumbling and tumbling, jumbling and all the rumbling I'm trying to put my life together, self-esteem together Yeah, I ain't gonna match, but I match your daughter, match And if they were really to talk about match we be something like Romeo and Juliet Sharing that big novel love But no, your paps say no I am match your family Why? Get too rich and not too poor I don't match your status Oh G.O.D I don't wanna live my life by the trigger So help me Put my papers together Oh God, this love is being so unfair But she loves him, she loves him. Unconditionally So, so unconditionally Willing to give her she all to give No matter the price oh, She has just to love him But the situation keeps on the horizon Everybody hates him Only God can help What do you know about love at this age, Chelsea? You want to bring shame upon this family? Instead of you occupying yourself with your studies and getting to the top as your sister has done, you stand here to talk about love, Chelsea. Don't you know that you have a forthcoming examinations? But all you want to do is to go around goofing with this returned beast of a, an elephant baby! He is a hypocrite! Daddy, he is not a hypocrite. 
You're only saying that because he's classless and the sight of him irritates you. But Daddy, you're not being fair. Shut up! Since when did you start bonding words with your father? Since when? Chelsea! Oh my God. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I know what to do. Oh yes. She means she locked herself up there refusing to come out? Go upstairs and see if she'll listen to you and come out. Starving herself really bothers me. I wonder how she's going to cope with her exams. Mom, please calm your legs. I'll go upstairs and talk to her. Please do that. Thank you. How's business today? It's been very good, sir. And the sales? Mm, much better. The patronage keeps improving daily due to go enhanced service delivery. Really? That's what I'm talking about. You see the reason why I do business with them? Of course, sir. Can I have the sales now? She's under house arrest. All your questions are begging for answers. With the bad network service provider you have. James, you're right. At least with your Tigo network, I'm sure the call will go through. Is it possible you lend me your phone or if not your chip? If it is to call your secondary school girlfriend, no way. Instead of you to utilize the opportunity you had to make some good money to reshape your life and get your own accommodation, you rather chose to play the game of love. Now see where it has landed you. Totally heartbroken and dejected. James. Like a fast rat which fell into a bowl of water. James! <laughs> That's an insult. Grow up, Jacob. Grow up. The earlier you realize the class difference between both of you, you understand that there's no way a parent will accept you as one of theirs. James, 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 James. You're with negative vibes, you know. I want people with positive vibes around me. People that will inspire me. And if you want to get me out of your house, tell me. Or what? Your mama says I should get out of the house. Tell me. Don't talk about me going to get accommodation. That's why you're not still in love at this age. Thank you. 
But she loves him you love her. Unconditionally Willing to give her all No matter the price But the situation keeps On the rising Everybody hates him Only God can help him Everybody hates him Only God can help him He's been treated like a pauper I've been treated bad As he is a hustler I'm a real hustler, baby But he has found new love Which is unconditional so But still has issues with a family He has no one to talk to him No defender He is just a hustler Searching for survival Praying to find the answer But she loves Unconditionally, willing to give her all, no matter the price. But the situation keeps on the rising. Everybody hates him, only God can help him. Everybody hates me. Open the gate for me, Maria. Madam Chase. Have you resurrected? What? Uh, long time where uh, person no see you. Where must I say you did? I mean, I know by our things say you don't die. They no one talk me. Me dead. Uh, but how person go dead this house where me I no go know. I be you don't you don't be uh, Mrs. Osama bin Laden. Listen. So I'm not in the mood for all these kind of silly jokes, okay? Just open the gate and let me go. That one, I don't go with you. Master talk say if you come, make an open gate. Say if, if I open otherwise, not my job. Bye bye. Sule, I'll be brief, okay? I'll be back before mom and dad gets here. I promise I won't put you to any trouble. No, hey. 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 Miss Chesley. Did you say your father gave you this? Of course. Um, why didn't he call to personally inform me? Mr. Adams, with all due respect, do I look like a trickster to you? Does the letter not contain my father's signature? Of course it does. But your father is such a man who would usually consult me in matters like this. Well, unfortunately, he didn't have the time to because he was traveling on a business trip. So he asked me to personally deliver it to you myself. I see. Anyway, I will still call him to verify. And what difference would that make, Mr. Adams? My father's phone developed a problem before he traveled. And he said he would give us a call as soon as he gets to the States. Hmm. Well? Um, um, I guess I'll just notify my father that you refused his proposal. And I'm sure you know what that means. Good morning, Mr. Adams. Excuse me. Ah, Miss Chesley. Not so fast. Please sit down. Please sit down. So, 
What do I tell my father? Tell him I will do his wish. I have read um, the applicant's um, CV and I think his resume is good. I will call him to resume work immediately. Thanks. My father will be grateful. I must leave now. I see. All right. Um, let me walk you to the door. Please check. It's accessible and affordable. You can say that again, but always remember to patronize me for more to go in it. Definitely, I will. <laughs> all right, all right. That money we talked about, you know. Just give me, I want to buy something across the street. Lending you money all the time, Jacob, will not get you out of your financial difficulty. I know. Mm -hmm. You know? I'll rather give you one of my Tigo top up centers to manage. Uh, after giving me a fabulous Tigo nice brand neck like this, you, you want to give me a top up and co center too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be very happy. I'll be very happy. But for now, please just, just give me that money. I thought you had later. Probably after running your center. <laughs> and that was just the surprise me. Thanks, man. Here you go. Okay. Thank you, bro. I'm so grateful. Listen, after testing your network, I know it's the best. I ain't going <laughs> nowhere. So you're rapping me now? I'm not rapping you. <laughs> hey. Hey. LB. Fine, sir. How's business? Good, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I'm just coming from my other top-up centers. I went to distribute uh, these, but these are the only ones I have left. It's not really enough, so okay, I'll sir. go and come back within the next 30 minutes. Sir. Okay, then. I'll see you later. All right, sir. Bye. Make some more money. Yes, sir. I'm an orphan. Some say they were born with silver spoon, but I say I was born though. I had no money. My past was way gone before word break ever ever came out. He did not work for the full version. He Hi, was a man full of himself. What are you doing here? After Hear me out, okay? Do you know the consequences of being here? Please leave. Would you hear me out? But your father will not. My father is not here, Jacob. Leave my father out of this. Talk to me. I got you a better job. Stop kidding me. No, I'm serious. Expect a call from the GM of the company. How did you do that? <laughs> I forged my father's signature. You did what? I'll do anything to put a smile on your face, baby. Chelsea. Anyway, I have to get going. So be good, okay? All right, so take care. Chelsea, expect the call. <laughs> I got me a job. Chelsea, you sure? I'll drink this poison. 
Nikki, don't leave me alone. Play around, we used to joke around, we used to run around the house like two little mouse. You just want to end all that? <laughs> Chelsea, please, please just remember that your sister loves you. I love you so much. Please don't do that. I know how you feel. But Nadia, you don't know how I feel. Either him or my life. Chelsea, 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 just, just calm down, okay? I understand you. Okay, fine. Just tell me what I can do for you so you can be happy again. This is killing me. Good. Convince mom and dad to permit this relationship to go on after my exams. Else, the investment in me will come to nothing. This is really hard for me, especially now that I, uh, my job is so demanding. But it's okay. I would come down to Ghana in the next two days. But you would have to promise me you're not going to do anything silly before I come. You don't mean it. Are you serious? Seriously, what is more imperative than saving my sister? <laughs> I will come. Okay? Oh, you're an angel, Matthew. Thank you very much. You're definitely my savior. I love you. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I would not only save your life, but I'll save your relationship. Okay? Thanks. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll speak to you later then. Bye. All right. Yeah, bye. Thanks, Nadia. Okay, it's time to discard you straight to the drain. <laughs> Listen now and don't lose God. We don't die, don't fit up. Stay alive, keep living on. Now I'm poor, now I'm poor. When we started the hustle, we don't see job. Not true, not true. Stop a cooler, giving thanks to your creation. Feel good about yourself, don't look down. But tell me, rise up when you fall down. But tell me, rise up when you fall down, rise up. Say, stop a cooler. Thanks to your creation. Feel good about yourself, don't look down. But tell me, rise up when you fall down. If not, be God, oh, I'm about to be sorry. Sorry, sorry. So, the story, oh, I've been disarray. In disarray. If not, be God, oh, I'm about to be sorry. Sorry, sorry. So, the story, oh, I've been disarray. Oh, darling, if you do, my people cry.
leave me alone, mommy. Just let me be, okay? Chelsea, how can I possibly go away? Well, you're the reason I flew a seven-hour flight just to be here. It's Nadia. Nadia? Mm-hmm. Nadia. I'm alone. No dad, no mom, just me. So open up. Nadia, it's you! Oh my god! Nadia! what she's gonna do next. Just saying no is at the expense of her life. Honey, please. Daddy, please, be a little bit considerate. Yeah. Maybe she just has barely a few days for her exams. Or would you rather have her dead? accepted your relationship with Jacob. Why is he not here at this moment? I want it as a surprise to him. Your daughter 
I feel he's low The family says that he's not an asset I heard some more I heard some more The relationship was on the low That scream out not like a rocket I wish you so I wish you so What happened? The peace process was slow He's like, what are you up to? Nothing much. I was just sitting down here enjoying the mother nature and the very cool ways of Africa. Yeah, right. I can read right through you, sis. It's written all over your face that you missed winter. <laughs> so, I am such an open book that you can read through me and know what I feel? Yeah, well... Why? You got me there. You're still in track. <laughs> I knew it. I just knew it. But you know, what she just said reminds me of a friend of mine in the States. You know, this guy can kill and die just to exchange our weather for just a day. I swear to God, sis, I'm not kidding. You know, I wish it really was possible. I wish we could trade places sometimes, you know, and have their weather, they have our weather. It would be nice. You could actually sit with the game. Come to think about it. Our weather is the reason why all those white folks go out, spend hundreds and thousands of dollars just to time themselves. But we just have it naturally. Aren't we blessed? Oh, sister, we are so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Here. What's that? Picture of Jacob. Isn't he cute? <sighs> Chelsea? Yes. I, I don't mean no disrespect or anything, but seriously, I never knew you, you liked big men. I also love guys who are big. I love guys when I go into their arms, I just melt into it and I can just feel like a teddy bear in the arms. But seriously, don't you think this guy's a little bit too big for you? No, he's adorable. You should just meet him, okay? I love him just the way he is. He reminds me of my all-time favorite Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. You should okay. meet him. You love him. He's one character. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you fallen for him? <coughs> oh my god! Are you silly? I was just cooking. Are you Are you crazy? Just take. How could you ever think of something like that? Come on, I'm just like that? pulling your legs. That is a lot of legs to pull. Don't ever do it again. Alright, I won't do that again. And by the way, have you thought about what you would reward me with as you save you i mean seriously i practically saved you from a lot of things like one a broken heart two an almost destroyed relationship that's for me to know and for you to find out okay if you say so <laughs> hey my back is back My mind, I think about you all the time. You know yeah. I, you. I need you. I, you. I feel you. I want you to know that I really, really love you. Come on, give me that. Come on, give me that. Come on, give me that. Come on, give Come on, give me that. 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 I can never live without you, baby boy. You're welcome. <laughs> you know how my father said about you the day you guys reconciled? I'm anxious to tell me. 
He said you're looking more flashy and likable. <laughs> But I never told him about your new job. <laughs> I'm happy with your father bringing things to me now. But <clears throat> what do you think? I think you have a plain heart. Beautiful heart from the first day I set my eyes on. Really? Mm -hmm. But you know what? Mm -hmm. I want to be imprisoned in your heart. And I'll wait till the day they sentence me so I can be in your heart to the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm damn serious. Oh no, what are we doing here? Who are you coming to see? Well, you will welcome to my house. <laughs> this is what is happening right now. That's my brand new car. This is my house. Guess what? I have a jacuzzi. I got me all the koozies. Stop right there. <laughs> Your new car that's, came in attack. That's because I want to surprise you. I want to surprise you. Let's go in. Let me even show you what I got. You'll be crazy when you see my home. Let's go. Me, I got me a hole now. <laughs> Mr. Adams, yes, sir. I will ensure Mark spends the rest of his life in prison. And as for the chief accountant, he deserves a pat on the back for helping save the situation. You're confusing me here, sir. How can the mastermind of the fraud be given a pat on the back? Um, how do you mean? Sir, the chief accountant is the masterminder of the fraud with Mark as his accomplice. Jacob uncovered their plot. Mm. Jacob? Who is Jacob? Your own very Jacob, sir. He has the Midas torch. And I must admit that since he joined us, we've been making steady profit. Now, we will wait a minute, Mr. Adams. I'm getting a little bit confused here. Can you be more explicit on this matter? Sir, Jacob stumbled on the document vetting their systematic siphoning of the company's funds and he reported it to me. Oh, really? This discovery solves the riddle of the mysterious decrease in the company's finances. Hmm. So, Who is this Jacob? He is your best friend's son. The young man you recommended for immediate employment. I recommend? Oh yes sir. Can't you remember? Chelsea, when did you become a criminal? I, um, uh, I don't quite follow. You don't quite follow? All right, I'll put it in another way. 
when did you start using my signature to secure employment for jobless people? Yeah, that's a very strong accusation to make and a ridiculous one at that. Signature forgery is a crime and Chelsea would never do such a thing. Honey, Chelsea wouldn't do such a thing. Chelsea, prove me wrong. Did you do it? I, I, I did it for love. What? Oh my God. I wanted to help him get a better job. Because he has a brilliant CV. Chelsea, that is a very stupid thing for you to have done. Not even for love. I had no other choice. Than to sign your father's signature to get someone a job? That justifies your foolishness. Do you know that that boy now owns a house? a car, and so many other things. Hmm. Let me tell you. I will expose him and bring him down. Hold on a second. Is he the same person who uncovered the fraud that would have ruined your business? What difference does that make, my dear? Daddy. At least it saved the company from going bankrupt. Will you shut up and apologize to your father now? I'm sorry, Daddy. It will never happen again. You have said that over and over and over again. And it has become an anthem. Look, Chelsea, that is a very disappointing thing for you. You cannot see that I want to play God. But please, do not make my trip down to Africa in vain. Chelsea, when did you become a criminal? I, um, I don't quite follow. You don't quite follow? All right, I'll put it in another way. When did you start using my signature to secure employment for jobless people? Yeah, that's a very strong accusation to make. And a ridiculous one at that. Signature forgery is a crime. And Chelsea would never do such a thing. Honey, Chelsea wouldn't do such a thing. Chelsea. Chelsea, prove me wrong. Did you do it? I did it for love. What? Oh my God. 
I wanted to help him get a better job. Because he has a brilliant CV. Chelsea, that is a very stupid thing for you to have done. Not even for love. I had no other choice. Than to sign your father's signature to get someone a job? That justifies your foolishness. Do you know that that boy now owns a house, a car, and so many other things? Hmm. Let me tell you. I will expose him and bring him down. Hold on a second. Is he the same person who uncovered the fraud that would have ruined your business? What difference does that make, my dear? Daddy, at least it saved the company from going bankrupt. Will you shut up and apologize to your father now? I'm sorry, Daddy. It will never happen again. You have said that over and over and over again. And it has become an anthem. Look, Chelsea, that is a very disappointing thing for you. You cannot see that I want to play God. But please, do not make my trip down to Africa in vain. Yeah, <laughs> that was because I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> and what if I'm not surprised? If you're not surprised, then um, <clears throat> I will browse. <laughs> I'm joking. Plus your eyes. What for? Yes, I have something for you. I'm yes. curious. Okay. All right. Good. 
close them tight, close them. Alright, okay. Close your eyes now. Okay, okay, good. Open them. Open them. What did you put there? Would you be my wife after school? Most definitely, yes. Baby. Alright, okay. <laughs> you like the ring? I'm that, speechless. That's 15 carats right there. Peel gold, baby. Oh. Yeah. Baby, thank you. This must have cost you a fortune. It did, baby. Can I do you the honor? <laughs> I'm just so absent mind. <laughs> so I do the honor. Can you show me the finger? Because I've never done this before. Alright, okay. So <clears throat> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Will you take Jacob? Great. Yes, I, I will. Let me finish. <laughs> I will, I will, I will. I will a million times. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. It just happened. I just popped the question. Let's go out. Let's go blow it up. Let's go have fun in town. Let's go do our thing. Hey. Nadia, how you doing? Come, come in, come in. So, why have you stopped coming home? Is Hello? it because Chelsea's no more around? So, the rest of us are shaft and we don't mean anything to you? But basically, the workload at the office has been a bit hectic. Too much. <sighs> Please, tell me something else. You never used to say that when Chelsea was around. You just came, even if you're busy or not. Alright, that's it. Full stop. I'm not going no more. <laughs> okay. I'm wrong and I'll make it up to you. Alright? It's alright. Oh, please sit. Oh, thank you. Alright. What would you take? I said, what would you drink? You really want to know? Yeah, tell me. Anything you want to drink. You can offer me something solid and soft. Soft and solid. <laughs> It's really typical, like what? Your lips, Jacobs. Look, <laughs> right from the very first time when I saw your picture, my heart melted. All I wish I could do was just be in your arms so you could hold me like a melt in your hand. I need you. You can have me for you. No, I can't do that. No. no, I don't need no Jezebel in my life. Listen, don't forget she is your sister too, okay? It's your blood sister. What difference does that make? What, what, what difference does it make? Being with me is still like being with any of the Owens reputable family. Listen to me. I love your sister. And I cannot get back to her by doing her evil. I cannot do that. What you're trying to tell me in essence is that you're only pretending to love my sister just because of all this that she has made you today. I said nothing like that. Please stop. Don't put words in my mouth. I love your sister. She's been through a lot for me. And now that I have it, I just want to give it back. Okay? You're hurting me, Jacob. Oh. You really, really hurt me with your words. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. Okay, fine. I understand. I can offer you a million times over what Chelsea offered you. Just accept me mine. No. How am I going to be yours? I'm 
already your sisters. Trina, what word should I define you with? You are a wolf in a sheep's skin. You are so shameless and you are so disgusting. And even though I thought you were an angel, oh boy, you are nothing like that. And she calls you the savior. Only if she knew she was dealing with the worst savior on earth. Jesus Christ. Jacob, I don't give up easily. You called me the worst savior. Remember, I don't give up easily. I don't want a Jezebel in my life. That was a real Jezebel. Can you imagine? I was nobody. You were nowhere to be found. Now Chelsea hooked me up. And you were here to offer me a million times what Chelsea gave me. If I was in my rack pit, I'm sure you would not even see me. Chelsea, I love you. Ain't nobody gonna take me away from Chelsea. But seriously, Mom, you really need to rest. I mean, all you do is work, 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 and you don't have time to rest. I know. Doctor Nadia. <laughs> no, <laughs> Mommy, you don't call me that. So when will you return to your base? You mean, Daddy didn't tell you? About what? Oh, that I'll be spending some more time here so as to contribute my own quarter to the development of our health sector. But... I don't know. Mom, but you know that there are very few doctors here who are specialized in mm -hmm. kidney transplants. And just like you know, I am mm -hmm. one of the best. <laughs> so that's why I'm staying behind. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. But how come you never mention it to me? Well, that is left for both of you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if you didn't, seriously. Anyway. Don't trust your father too much. <laughs> he sometimes hides secrets from me. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mom, but you really need to rest. I know. Look, that's what I'm talking about. You have to rest. Nadia. If you want anything, you can ask the maid to get for you. <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, now I will talk you into bed. <sighs>
What are you doing in my bedroom? Isn't it obvious? By the way, is that the way to welcome your guest? Or don't you have any atom of respect at all? Respect? For Delilah like you. Now get out of my house before I throw you out. <laughs> You're still lying down. I said get out! I don't want to say it twice. Get out. Oh, was that supposed to scare me? Like really scare me? Is that supposed to be a command? Listen to me. It's not a command. Now get the hell out of this house before I throw you out. Because I'll really throw you out so hard you can't even stand. So get out! Wow. I like that. I really do like that. As a matter of fact. I'm even more strong and in control. Oh, you're coming out to me. <laughs> Is that what you really want? You want to take all those things about me? Mm -hmm. Out? <laughs> I thought so too. I have never been with this with Chelsea before, you know. And it doesn't, it doesn't look right. I want you out of here. You do not have to worry about anything. Chelsea and I are from the same womb. So if we make love to me, it's as equal as making love to her too, so I mean, just relax and enjoy. I will take you on a very long ride. Trust me. Baby, what's up? Baby, can we kind of like have a date tonight? I have something very important I would love to discuss with you. Oh, sweetie, can't it wait? You know, this is my exam period, and I need to stay away from you like for like five weeks. Five weeks? What are you talking about? A month and a week here? Yes, my love. But I need to study. I don't want to turn my father down. I hope you understand. All right, okay. Baby, please don't feel bad, okay? You know I'll do anything to make you happy. Even die for you, okay? Hmm? I know, I know you love me. I know you okay, care for please. me. And I love you too. Please understand. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I mean it. I love you. I love you more, okay? Take care. <laughs> Bye, love. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I needed you to show me the way. I got myself into one big mess. Oh, show me the way out of this mess. I really need you to show me. I need to hit you. Big mess. So, have you thought about marriage yet? To who? To me, of course. Who else? But now, Chelsea should have been history in your heart. Do you have an idea? Of the magnitude and the implication of what you are saying. Huh? You know, your daddy thought of me as a gold digger. I wonder what he'll be thinking of me if he knows I'm doing both of his daughters. Mr. Owen will kill me. And it's not funny. Stop it. 
I'm serious. Okay, fine. I'll stop laughing. Well, you have nothing to bother about then. Because Daddy already knows about our relationship. And trust me, he approves of it. Yeah, I believe you. Now stop kidding. Does it look to you like I am kidding? Honey, let's see. Daddy and the driver spotted us at Frankie's two weeks ago. Dad came home and he asked me a lot of questions, which I answered. I couldn't help but tell him the truth. But I love you. You know who? You? Jeez. Oh, no. Come on, sweetie. Huh. Look, look, listen to me. Listen to me. Like I told you, Dad approves of this relationship because he knows I'm a strong, independent woman. I'm a career woman. And I know what I want. And I'm not saying that Chelsea is not all that, but think about it. She's just a young, naive lady who is still struggling with her education. But I'm already made. Your daddy already knows about it. Mm. But that doesn't guarantee me being a sinister betrayer, right? Does it? Look, this is your chance. Take it. Just in case you forgot, I'm a well-known medical practitioner. I can take you to any level your heart so desire. I will make dignity and honor by what you fit. If only you would stick with me. Is your mother aware of this? Nope. And I hope that you don't run to her telling her about this. Because dad and I have decided to keep the secrets from her. I see. Family of secrets. Baby. Look. Show me not your heart, my love. For in my kingdom, there is peace. You ain't my sis. You betrayed my love. You are the worst savior. That is what you are. You ain't my sis. You betrayed my love. You are the one savior. That is what you are. Chelsea. What is bothering you? Baby, what's wrong with you? It's Jacob. My quizzes are over, and I've been trying to see him. All to know I feel. He keeps coming up with these flimsy excuses that he's busy with work and he's exhausted. He can't even make out time to come and see me. Then just go over and see him. You don't get it, do you? I have called him like a thousand times. And he keeps telling me not to come over. Gosh. I'm losing his commitment. Hmm. I sense something fishy. I suspect there's another girl somewhere. I don't think there's another girl. But if there is, I swear to God, I'll kill myself. Over a guy? Huh. Poor girl. Take it easy, okay? Come on. He's going to be fine, okay? See, he's going to come back with Betty. I'm ready. Where are you going? We're going out. To? We're going out on a picnic. Chelsea, are you sure you want to come along? No. You girls gonna have fun, okay? Chelsea, loneliness will make you fall sick. Jacob will kill you. Your family will bury you. Jackie and I will come to your funeral. What is wrong with you? Please, don't be so harsh on her. That is what she deserves. For lamenting over a guy who is well alive. Please, let's go. We're almost late. Chelsea, see you later. You are in my sis. You betrayed my love. You. you are the worst savior. That is what you are. You are in my sis. 
You betrayed my love. You are the one savior. Congratulations. Ah, I'm what? For the romantic relationship you two have established. What are you talking about? Cut the crap, Nadia. Don't try and be a good actress because you're not. Damn know what I'm talking about. I know what's going on to you, both of you. Would you shut up, Chelsea? Shut your mouth. Do you realize you're talking to me? I will not take any more embarrassment from you. 
By the way, where did this ugly accusation come up from? What is going on here? Nadia stabbed me in the back. Nadia, you're the worst savior. You're worse than the devil himself. What proof do you have? This, daddy, this. How could you? Hey! Chelsea, you exaggerating, you know. Come on, Jacob, explain. That's an advert. Handsome liar. Why don't you tell me more? Why don't you? Chelsea, do you remember when I called your wife saying that we should meet and discuss something? And you told me that you were in your final examination week, so I should give you a month? Continue. All right. It was during that time that the contract came for the advert, and we were looking for models. So I decided to use your sister instead of a stranger, so when you come out, you don't get pissed. And how come I didn't know? That's because Dad asked us not to tell you until the ad is released. Oh, yes, precisely. We just wanted to surprise the point of you, and now this? No, this is really outrageous. I shouldn't have even agreed to do the ad in the first place. And to think I was just helping you out. But everybody heard how she insulted me. If you promise, you are never going to feel anything. You is the Gucci. You got a Gucci. Your love is great, and that's why I call you. Chelsea, why do you keep insisting? There was no common man, no DOP, no crew, nothing. They only succeeded in deceiving you. We weren't allowed to ruin the relationship between you and Jacob. Or your so called savior for anything. Don't you know it's incredible? I trust my sister. Now, both of you have made me good big time. And I'll never forgive you for that. Next time, mind your own business. Hey, so this girl has fallen for that cheap lie? Can you imagine that? Pick at it, pick at it, pick at it. Pick it, pick it, pick it. In fact, she should be pickering. Very soon she will see them all in their panties and she will come back here to tell me that it was a panty advert. <laughs> it's not fun, okay? Nadia, please, I'm sorry for every word that I uttered to you last night. I beg you, I really beg you to take back the money that advertising agency gave to you so that they can release their commercial. Please. Dr. Nadia, please, listen to your sister's plea. Nadia, please save us. Have mercy on me because I'm being embarrassed, I'm being disgraced, and I'm being put to shame here. Please. The payment has been increased. Please take it. But, but is that supposed to be a deliberate insult to me? Is that supposed to be an insult? What you guys take me for? You think I care about the money? 
Now, first of all, let me tell you, gentlemen, the money means absolutely nothing to me, shall never mean, and will never mean anything to me. Now, I say to you, that ad must be cancelled. No, 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 please, please. Thank you, Nadia. Please forgive me. Please. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I insist that the ad be cancelled. And by God, I see the ad on air. Look, I will sue you. I will sue your company so much that I could use the money to buy half of Ghana. Do you understand me? What? And please, but this is not a choice. Please, there's an emergency in the theater and your presence is needed right away. Okay. I'll be with you. Okay, doctor. Well, as you can see, I'm very busy. And I would advise all of you not to come back here again because you've come back in vain. Nadia, 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 we need your help. Nadia, why are you being difficult? Huh? This is not my fault. I'll see you. I'm sorry. Is it intact? Yes, that's it. Right. Thousand Ghana cities. One thousand Ghana cities. That is bullshit. It's not enough. Take it. Just take it. Mister, do you remember what I did? I acted as the advertising manager of PK Company Limited. And that is impersonation. And it also arbitrates the laws of this country. You know that. No, just shut the fuck up. And don't ever swear in my front again, okay? That's a thousand Genesis added to it. It makes it two thousand Genesis. That's my baby. Anytime you want, lead me.
Okay. How do you know how um, I'm sorry to bother you, but have you got a moment? Yes. Oh, so how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm you. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I just want to discuss with you about the new patient. I really want to take charge of the patient. I want to treat her because, as you know, she's my sister. I want to do everything I can so she can recover and give her the best. Come on, Dr. Nadia. I know she's your sister. And there's nothing wrong with you attending to her. Thank you very much. I just wanted to tell you for some. That's all right. Thank you. Um, Dr. Nadia, did you diagnose Mr. Aaron Smith? Oh, yes, I did. All right, then. I'll check on him. Oh, that would be very wonderful if you do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Right.
Hi, Dr. Nene. How are you? Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need a moment. Yes. Oh, so, how are you doing? I'm fine. Are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, I just want to discuss with you about the new patient. I really want to take charge of the patient. I want to treat her because, as you know, she's my sister. I want to do everything I can so she can recover and give her the best. Come on, Dr. Nadia. I know she's your sister. And there's nothing wrong with you attending to her. Thank you very much. I just wanted to tell you for some. That's all right. Thank you. Um, Dr. Nadia, did you diagnose Mr. Aaron Smith? Oh, yes, I did. All right then. I'll check you. I'll be very wonderful if you do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry for everything. I seriously never meant to hurt you. But it's so unfortunate that we all share the same love. I hope you understand. But the only difference is that. for us.
Nadia, how could you? Jacob, what did you expect me to do? Sit down, fold my hands while she exposes us in front of my mother? Hell no! And the next thing you know is that the news is all over the media? Jacob, look, I am a very prestigious woman and I do not need such scandals. You went too far. You went too far. Paralysis? A loss of memory? That's too much! Jacob, her paralysis was as a result of the shock she had before collapsing. And yes, the loss of memory I can take all the credit for, but please, please, please do not join them together and make me look like some demon, because I'm not. You already look like a one. I still believe it's wrong, kid. Oh, just, just shut up. Shut up, Jacob. Just shut the fuck up. Are you blind, Jacob? Why do you think I did this? I did it because of us, Jacob. Doing it so we can be happy? Because of our safety. Safety, my fault. What about her safety? Do you love your sister at all? Do you? Yes. Yes, I love my sister so much. Then your love is wicked. Your love is so wicked. How long do you intend to do this? I guess I just keep injecting her every other month. Hey, this is getting dangerous. And I'm getting scared. Above all this, isn't she going back to school? She's on a three months vacation. So how long will this continue? How long? But that will depend on you. How? Marry me. Yes, Jacob. Marry me. Marry me so we can elope to the US together. So we can live happily. We can spend all our days being very happy. And then she will not have to take any injections in her entire life again. She will regain her memory. But she will not be able to take you away from me. Confused. I'm, I'm confused. I can't get it straight. I can't get it. I'm confused. Yes, I know. Do you know what you got? I hate to see that you still love her. Was that you wanted to talk to me about? Well, I just wanted to let you know that the song and I will be on a week trip to Cape Coast tomorrow. We have an uncle of ours we need to marry. Really? So, is Chelsea going with you? I thought you just said the family. Is Chelsea not part of my family? She is. And you did. Have you ever thought about the reason why my father accepted this relationship to go on? No, I don't. Tell me. I would really like to know. I'm so interested. Because I said I was going to quit my career if he disagrees. Would you ever do that for me? Is it possible? <laughs> Tell me. Excuse me. I'll never, never do my career with you. 
I know, but you know what? Let me see. Charles will do that for me a thousand times. What should I say a million times? Oh, a gazillion times. She will do that. Well, that is very good for you. Now look at this face right here. It doesn't look at Charles' face, does it? No, it doesn't. Excuse me. There will be Chelsea. You left your duty post, you know. Hey, hey good evening, Mr. Jacob. Welcome. Have they left already? Oh. They, they don't go now, some few minutes to pass. Oh, jeez. Oh, I was supposed to keep something tonight here. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. You feel give me. Eh? I go, I go, feel carry go give a uh, status. Chelsea? I thought they went with her. Oh, no. Master, don't talk long time. Say they don't go feel carry and go because of her condition. So she's there inside our room. Ah, okay. Then I'll take my leave now. Ah, huh? uh, okay. Now you talk. Okay, you know, well, the second thought I was here. Ah, now you're talking. She's there inside room. She's there upstairs. I can get you off my mind. I think about you all the time. Yeah, I need you. I need you. I feel you. I want you to know. I just decided to come and keep you company, since I know you're lonely. <laughs> that I will not deny. So how's work? Let's not even talk about work. I'm going to take five days leave and take you around town, so I can show you new environment. Hmm. I hope there are no strings attached. Cross my heart, hope to die. No strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really do like you a lot, and I don't know why. Because... It's just one character, you know? Believe you know. Pardon? I was just kidding. Anyway, so what do we do next? What do we do? What do we do? Tell me. What do I take you? Tell Anywhere. Me. Let me get dressed. All right, get dressed.
why are you crying? Congratulations, Mr. Jacob. For what? She can now walk on her feet and oh. she's a few days pregnant. She's pregnant? Doctor, is she aware? Not really. She still needs some rest and will be told when fit to be discharged. Doctor, I'll do what I tell him, okay? <laughs> just, just leave that aspect to me. One bad news, Mr. Jacob. Mm -hmm. See, there is this poisonous substance I found in the system, which causes her to lose her memory, and that might affect the brain of the baby after birth. I caution that such substance must be denied into her body with immediate effect. Doctor, what type of substance is that? your head affectionately tells you. If not, what is necessary? Where are your parents? So that we could elope and join them. Enough to take care of you and I, and 
Can I have a baby? No. No! Just stop! Just you love Unconditionally. Willing to give her all, no matter the price. But the situation keeps on the rising. Everybody hates him. Only God can help him. Everybody hates him. Only God can help him. What's up? Where comes up? Um, so the wife's Chelsea. So Chelsea, she don't go out to she walk out to get like us. Come out. She she collapsed. What? And uh, Mr. Jacob, come, 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 carry her. So uh, she goes to come back. Where is she doing? possible in some cases, as of the case of Chelsea. The paralysis was causing this shock that she had until you had fed. Oh, you're fed. Invade his house and crush him, destroy him. No, 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 no. He is definitely in there because he doesn't go to work on Saturdays. Good. In fact, that boy is a leech. Yes, he's a leech. He's, 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 a, he's a whole trauma in my family affairs. Now, 3,000 Ghana cities is for you when you complete this job. But remember, no traces. I'm here now, so you can actually tell me what you were saying. There's not going to be an injection for Chelsea no more. We can't continue this relationship too. Still listening? You know you could have converted me from Chelsea just for a little while. But you know I love Chelsea. 
and now she's pregnant. So I don't want you injecting her with that soft and sweet affects her when giving birth. I don't know why you're clapping for me because I have one no hour. Yeah. 
Pas mon sortant, je suis mécanique à même. Elle est là, tu es 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 là, tu No, Nadia. I'm carrying his baby. Please don't. You're carrying a bastard. And that bastard must be terminated. Please, don't take that child. Please. Please, honey. Get out of the way. Nadia, forgive me. Yes. Yes. Get out of the way. Nadia, pull the trigger. Oh, <laughs> 